Welcome to my new and improved bedroom. So last week I decided to do something drastic and something that I never do and I decided to clean my room. <laughs> That's why I'm trying out a new angle because I've moved my bed to the centre of my room so it's the centrepiece of the room. Um, but it means there isn't much other space. <laughs> it's really not something that I do very often. I just enjoyed living in a mess. I, I knew where everything was within the mess that I had made. I didn't mind having a messy room, but then I realised that my room doesn't really have any character. And, and I was like, that's weird, because I'm such a characterable person, that I ought to just make my room a little bit more my own. So I decided to um, go out and buy some decorative pillows. I still have a big aspect of music in my room. Here are my, is my guitar, my ukulele and my mandolin on the wall. Generally what I did is just make my room a little bit prettier um, by, I think, decorative pillows are the way forward in life, they are the future. Um, I never realised how beautiful they can make your room look and now I feel like, I feel really at peace with myself when I sit in my room and just am happy with my life. I think if you're feeling at all unhappy, like feng shui your room, like move your bed around and um, oh the other thing is you should move your bed around anyway because there's loads of dust under there and you should be hoovering that yearly rather than ten yearly. My room it feels really clean because I hoovered all the places that I've never even moved before. So there was an old chest of drawers and I moved it and I could barely breathe from the dust. Which is gross, isn't that gross? So anyway, um, it's, all, it's not gross anymore because I cleaned it. So while I was cleaning my room I found some stuff that I thought had gone forever. Stuff that I forgot existed and that made me feel so nostalgic. Um, so I wanted to show you all the things that I found in my room that I forgot existed. Yeah, I found this picture of me when I was seven um, and it's like one of those, you know when you go to those places and they put you on the front of a magazine and they make you feel really special. Um, it's like one of these like fake magazine photos but when I found it I was like oh my goodness I didn't realise I was ever named Dancer of the Year and then I was like oh it's just a fake photo. But um, yeah I was quite proud of my seven year old self for her achievements and um, I thought it was so funny and I found it and I, I, I don't remember it ever happening this picture being taken. I just found it down the back of my bed, <laughs> um, so I, I, I don't know when, I don't know for how long that has been there, I have no idea, uh, but it's cute. I also found this picture of me and my brothers, which I remember having, I remember losing actually, because I used to have it on my wall, above my bed, so yeah, I found this on the side of my bed as well, because I used to love this photo because um, my brothers are wearing the same outfit, and I thought that was so cute, and I used to have it up on my wall, and then one day it went missing, and I thought that one of them stole it, I was so mad. And now <laughs> I've found this picture that's just been missing. It must have just fallen down and I, and I never realised. I'm really distracted because there's like a baby outside that is walking down the road. <laughs> He's so cute. I also found so many pennies. I found them all over. Um, I found, well, I found three things consistently. I found pennies. Um, I even found 20p under um, one of my wardrobes, so that was cool. Um, I also found hair clips, like air, hair grips like this, and uh, guitar plectrums everywhere, absolutely everywhere. I found them every time I was hoovering, I was like, there's another one there! I don't know, like, when you play the guitar, um, plectrums are something that you just, they just go missing, They're, they just go into the abyss of plectrum world. Um, and I, I think I found the abyss, it was under my bed, that's where it was. <laughs> I found this hoodie from when I was 16, it was my favourite hoodie, it's a Beatles hoodie, and um, I basically thought that I was the coolest person on earth. And here's a picture of me wearing the hoodie when I was 16. I found my first ever guitar, um, which I thought was gone forever, but uh, apparently not, it lives on. I got it when I was really small, like small enough to hold this tiny guitar. I didn't actually learn to play the guitar till I was 14 and I got a proper guitar then, but um, this was my first one. Um, which I used to, used to, I think I just used it for posing <laughs> and thinking that I was Carol King. So now my room is in place, uh, it's all ready, and um, it is uh, decorated with some lovely things. Um, I got, so I got these lovely pillows, and um, I've actually got a little bit of a songbird theme going on now in my room. Songbird pillow. It's cute, huh? It's really cute. I have this songbird money, money box, which I got for Christmas. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, it doesn't have any money in it yet. But uh, yeah, she's so cute. <laughs> but then I had this issue with the label, there's like a label here and it's ruined the whole uh, bird, which is so upsetting. Why does that happen? Why do they stick a big sticky label on everything and I can't get it off? That's stupid. Uh, but yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty songbird. 
Uh oh, you are a songbird. So this is my jewellery box. And um, in here I have a couple of songbird pieces. I have this, which I got from the Joy Store. It's like two songbirds. And from my head cambler I got these. Um, a little songbird necklace. And there's one florally one and one stripey one. And they're so pretty. See them? Thanks, Fern. And my two best friends from school gave me this for my birthday. Uh, it's a little gold songbird. You can see it. Yeah. And it even on the packet says songbird. Yeah. Cute, huh? And I also have this songbird brooch, which I keep on my backpack with all my other badges. And um, I love it. It's so pretty. It's got little diamonds in it. And one last thing that I did was um, keep a load of stuff, uh, which I kind of, I was trying to clear out, I was trying to have a big clear out and throw away loads of stuff that I never wear. And um, I came across this hat and I put it on and I was like, oh, I never wear this. Um, and then as I took it off, I kind of suddenly had like a nostalgic moment where I was like, this is the hat that I wear in the Blue Eyed Soul um, picture. We edited the photo so much that the colour kind of looks different. And I, I guess I just kind of forgot what, you know, you can barely see any of the hat, but um, yeah, this was this was my hat that I wore in the, in the Blue Eyed Soul picture. This is it. Here's, a, here's the hat. Oh, look at that. Should I get Blue Eyed Soul? Wait. <laughs> so welcome to my new room, uh, you'll be seeing me in here a lot, uh, you'll see a lot more of this room and um, this is where I'll be doing my things, okay bye! <laughs>